a short video in fact inspired by my students uh, who asked me a lot of doubts about the uh, the comma and uh, even they helped me in finding out this uh, solutions for that and for the understanding so i thought like i'll share with all so that it will be useful for everyone and uh, so uh, in the r you already know that you know how to um, how to use the inbuilt data sets right uh, so say if you want to uh, you know if you want to know the data what is the what is the data inside iris data set you can simply uh, use the iris data set which is actually the inbuilt one in the data sets package in um, r studio say uh, when you when you do that you know that it will give you all the attributes uh, in that particular data set along with its values and now in order to make it uh, more clear say if we have uh, uh, iris 1 okay so if you are just giving us iris 1 can we see how what would be the output okay so basically what it is showing you is that it is just uh, uh, giving you the sepal length okay so just one column right so when you look at the whole data set you have attributes like sepal length sepal width petal length petal width right and the species so when you are giving iris of 1 it is basically giving the first column okay so now we are trying to understand that is it possible for us to print iris of minus 1 okay so when we do iris of minus 1 when we run iris of minus 1 when you see the data you could understand that it is excluding the first one uh, whatever be the rest of the attributes all the rest of the attributes or the remaining attributes and its values are basically printed right so you now you know that what is iris of 1 and virus of minus 1 now we will uh, move on to the comma operator okay say we are printing iris of just a comma okay so when you print iris of comma basically you are getting the complete data set okay the complete data set itself is actually given back to us that means that you are actually giving a row value and a column value okay so now you are trying to print iris 1 followed by a trailing comma so when you print that uh, you can understand that you are actually asking this uh, or by using this particular command you are actually printing the first row okay and as you have not given any specific column value it prints all the column values just it just takes all the column values so when you look at this uh, output it is understand understandable that you have sepal length sepal width everything and all these values are given for the first row so if you want to confirm it you can go back to this uh, original data set okay so when you go back to the original data set this is the first value okay this is the first value this is exactly what is basically printed here like 5.1 3.4 1.4 and 0.2 so when you look at the output which you have actually gotten here okay when you look at it you could see that it is exactly the value which you have actually gotten right uh, so now you know um, what is uh, you know this iris with the comma operator now let's try this one so can you just uh, you know guess what will happen if you do this way like you are actually using a leading comma here right so when you do that the expected value is that you are going to print in a row okay in a row and about what about the column one so the column one is basically printed in a row okay so whatever be the values of the column one okay that is actually printed as a row and now when you look at this one say this is your uh, you know species okay the fifth attribute is basically your species so when you look at this you could see that yes all the values are basically printed uh, I mean like whatever is there all those values in the fifth column is basically printed as a row right and now when you look at this one so here you are not giving any comma values you are simply giving iris of one to five and you already know that it will just simply print uh, the complete uh, data set right because we have already tried that uh, so this is nothing but a range of values a range of attributes I mean like you need to pr you need to print all the five different attributes in the iris data set now uh, you know instead of a single value you can also use a range with the comma operator okay so here uh, can you just imagine or can you just think about what would be printed yes so all the row values will be printed for all the five uh, at uh, you know all the five attrib uh, attributes okay so when you do that you will get the complete data set itself now uh, let's uh, dig deep into this so iris of one comma 
1 is to 5. So what, would, what could be the possible values? So when you look at the answer, you could see that, you know, you are actually printing the first row, okay, or with all the five uh, uh, column values. I mean like, you know, sepal length, sepal width, etc. So this is exactly equivalent to, even if you are not giving something here, say even if you are actually removing it, okay, you will get exactly the same result. Okay, so this one and if you are giving this, it's it, it basically gives you the same result. So that's what you can see here. So now uh, the other way around, say you have this iris of uh, the, the row is basically a range. Okay, so when you give this way, what will happen basically, you are actually taking the first five row values. Okay, so when you look at the, when you look at this, uh, um, uh, this, uh, yeah. So if you, if you see it here, so 5.1, 5, 4.9, 4.7, 4.65. 4 so these five values, okay, these five values, not the row, I mean like this this single value is 5.1 under sepal length, 4.9 under sepal length, 4.7, 4.65. These five values will be printed, okay, of the first column. So this one represents, this one basically represents this column, okay. And uh, 1 is to 5 basically represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so when you look at the values which is uh, which are printed here, 5.1, 4.9, etc. up to 5, these values are basically printed. Okay, so now when you look at here, this one, what is, it's, it's, it's like a matrix and it is actually printing you, uh, you know, the second value in your first uh, I mean like the first one. So second value in the first one is basically 4.9. So you're getting exactly that value. And uh, say if you're trying this one, you're getting, sorry, this one, sorry. Yeah, this one you're getting uh, set aside. I mean like, you know, in the fifth column, what is the second value? Okay, so in the fifth column, the second value is basically set aside. Okay, so that's how actually it is printed. So now when you try this, what could be the possible values? So you are actually giving the range threes to five, okay? And uh, you are actually giving the column value three, okay? So third to fifth row, okay? You have to print the values from third to fifth row for the third column. So when you look at this one, okay? So you, uh, you are basically going to, th you are printing from three to five, okay? Three to five of the third column, okay? So now you are actually going back to your uh, third column. So when you go back to your third column, this is the third column, in that you are actually printing the values from 3, 4, 5, I mean like 1.3, 1.5, 1.4. These are the values which are actually printed. When you look at here, 1.3, 1.4, 5 and 1.4 is basically printed. So hope uh, I hope you know you're able to understand and get to understand the meaning of this, how to use this comma. And now the uh, uh, another thing is that say when you, when you use this, uh, kind of the comma operator, uh, basically you will not be able to see when you get the result, it's just the values, right? Say no, I want to uh, print it as a data frame, then you can actually include this attribute drop is equal to false, okay? So when you include this attribute drop is equal to false, it will show you like a, uh, I mean like, uh, it will show you like this, say uh, this is from four to five, okay? So four and fourth value and the fifth value in the third column will be printed but it will also show you the uh, the data frame uh, with the column name okay so the third one here in your data frame the third one here in your data frame is basically the petal length and you are printing the fourth value and the fifth value so this 1.4 these are the two values which are printed with this heading right so it is actually printed exactly like in a uh, data frame. So that is what it is actually seen. And now say by default, say if I'm simply printing uh, this one, say I'm taking this four and I'm printing, uh, you know, say I'm just taking this uh, out. Okay, I'm just taking this out and uh, you're getting the result 1.5, 1.4, right? And this is equivalent to printing, say uh, the same one, um, sorry this one I'm just taking this one copy and uh, say if you instead of this false if you give true value okay so these two are basically the similar ones okay so if you give false it will explicitly give you the column name and if you are not giving anything or if you are giving this attribute drop is equal to true it will give you uh, it will not give you the column name that's the difference 
okay so hope you uh, understand that how you can actually select the rows from uh, i mean like how you can actually select and print the rows from a data frame okay and this method is basically our indexing method so this you can actually see in various uh, programming languages like python and everything you can you can see this is as a common usage in in, in other uh, you know programming languages as well especially in python okay so this is what it is now how can we actually select the column values okay so now in order to select the column values the easiest way is to remember is that data frame name say whatever be the database uh, data uh, frame name that one and you have to use it along with the dollar sig signal symbol and then you have to use the column name okay so this is the common you uh, know way which you have to say in the iris data set so i will i will just print this iris data set once again so i'm just clearing this now for the sake of it say if i uh, simply give the iris uh, data set i'll just give here yeah, the iris and uh, iris data set so if i give the iris data set uh, you know that here so you have sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and species now i just want to print only the species column so that is what i'm saying so my data frame data set name is iris okay data frame name is iris okay and then followed by dollar yes we have dollar and then the column name the column name which i want uh, to uh, to uh, to print is basically the species so this is what i'm giving and uh, i'm giving control enter so it is exactly like this now can you just imagine then how can you actually print it by using the indexing way is yes, exactly okay you can actually you know print it the same thing by using this particular indexing so you are not you want uh, uh, you are not giving anything in specific here and you are actually you know selecting the fifth the column here so you are actually printing all the row values i mean like 1 2 3 4 etc all the row values of the fifth column uh, that is exactly what is actually printed here um so this is how you will be selecting the column values okay so this is how you can use this indexing or you can use this dollar symbol to select the uh, the row and the column values in your uh, data set now the next one is basically subsetting data so for the subsetting data you have something called subset function which is available so uh, how we can use is that you need to provide uh, the data frame name or the data set name and uh, which species whichever species which you want to print you can actually say we have three different classes in this like we have setosa we have versicolor we have virginica these are the three different classes which we have in here so but i s need a subset of this particular data set right so i i specifically want the virginica a uh, virginica data alone so then i could use this subset so i'm providing me the data set providing the function with the data set with whichever subset i need i'm just giving that so when i see here i am from all the data uh, it is basically giving uh, the you know just the virginica alone that is what the uh, data is basically giving me now uh, you know is it only like you know can we you know use the equality yeah you can ha uh, you can have all the equality operators which is available say i just want all the petal length which is actually uh, greater than 6 greater than or equal to 6 so it will select um, you know all the data which is actually taken and uh, in that you know whichever is having you know greater than 6 petal length greater than 6 it will print that say if i try this one you know uh, it will print all the values which is basically you know see in this one you have this versi color also in this so probably the the petal length of the virginica is basically bigger and say if i'm just giving something like 1 okay probably you will have set also as well okay so when you look at this one uh so you could see that yeah the setosa is having a small petal length and versicolor is better and virginica is having a bigger one so accordingly you will get the solution okay so basically in this video we have just seen about you know how to select the row values and you can use the indexing method to use that and then we have also seen how to select the column values by using the dollar symbol and also by using the indexing and we have also seen about the subset function so hopefully you know this will be a simple and useful video for you all and those who are working with the data sets and those who want to get the output in a faster way you know you can actually use the small uh, you know functions which are already available there for the usage and you know for working with the uh, data sets thank you so much so hope it will be useful for you thank you so much if you have any doubts or anything like that you can always get back to me thank you all the best